does <laughs> to Joseph in 411. So when we were... Let me go back. I, I go to the restroom. That's fine. Okay. Sorry. Go outside. But, but, uh, he broke the seal. <laughs> he broke it. I'm doing it. But uh, the first time I met Joseph was the year two when we had the, uh, the uh, mall rat. But we learned from the first year... And then the second year, you just can't have one beer at a yep. homebrew competition. Yep. So we were uh, serving, I think, at that time, it's called Ground Zero, which now is called J'ai Observe, Observe in French, which means I observe. And I'd be happy to explain that next podcast, which we'll be releasing next year. It's now in a uh, <laughs> bourbon barrel. <clears throat> oh, but, nice. Oh, man. No. Yes. Yeah, really cool. But um, I just remember Joseph saying, and I was like, oh my goodness, this guy worked at Rogue. He's like a pro yeah. brewer. I mean, now we've got, uh, you know, Tioga and Full Circle. and But I remember him just tasting. He was like, it's clean. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and so then we had the experience, Big J and he here. And yeah. he's like, F you, F you. This is, you guys aren't home brewers. This is better than even what I've made, man. <laughs> and I was like, Really? And then we get the invitation as the first invitation for the uh, incubator, and the rest is history. So, so but my cool. first, my yeah. my favorite beer, I would say, has evolved um, from being Northern California with like Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, Lagunitas IPA, uh, Mendocino Brewing Company. Traditionally, it was like that traditional malt forward mm-hmm. West Coast IPA. Mm-hmm. But I will tell you, with this guy and how we've changed, and just my palate has changed, it is now a crystal malt free mm-hmm. hop forward West Coast. Yeah. I mean, I appreciate the Easties and, yeah. and a good solid pail, but uh, a, a modern now West Coast IPA is probably my favorite. Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd say somewhere in between that crispy lager to a uh, hoppy yep. kind of very pleasant nose and very nice nice flavor not like overly bitter but just mm-hmm. just nice some bite in the back bite yeah. is is I, you know in fresno that works for me very well like yeah, for sure. all your seasonally like all year round right i mean um th- there was a time there uh i don't know what happened to them there was a time there uh session uh, session and IPAs then some, or, i don't know why they didn't even like that's a cool style too. I mean, I, I thought it was, and then and then it's they like four and a half percent and amazing. And then they Come started on. getting bashed. You know, uh, it was like, well, what? Just make a pale at five percent. You know. Yeah. But uh, I want to say Noble. Yeah. Oh yeah. Noble yeah. had down a, in Anaheim. Yeah, yeah. They they had a session IPA called uh, Nose Candy. I've probably. Uh, that was fucking fantastic, yeah. and if you ever yeah. had it and smelled it, so good. You know why they call it nose candy? Yeah. Like you, you didn't even have to drink it; you could just smell it. Anyway, yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh. No, I I I definitely am with you with a pale or an sure. IPA. Uh. But like for me, like if if I could, and here's the thing: is I don't really have them much, like a Kolsch. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Adrian uh, yeah. for making HK. Adrian makes solid, H- solid beer. You, yeah. Did you ever have the HK Kolsch? Of course. Uh, that was yeah. fantastic. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, you don't really see them around here much, and I don't, yeah. I don't know why more Fresno breweries don't make them because yeah. it's so hot here. Right. It's so hot. It's, it's, it, they should. It's, it's not like it's a... And even though every year we'll make like an Imperial Brown Ale or this or that, we'll, we'll do special releases for that stuff, but... Uh, Kolsch's and, and, and local craft lagers or hoppy lagers should fly off the shelves. But um, I know we're in the, the hazy realm and a lot of people seek doubles and stuff. And I, I'm cool with all those styles too. I mean, we drink yeah. them, we go order them, we go check out the best from, from our <laughs> constituents and in our, you know, anything that's like in that realm is it's a big deal because it's a big deal. Uh, but... I wish there were other big deals too, and uh, like the that Kolsch, that clean, crisp, especially in the summertime. Yep. We got mm. it is so refreshing. It makes me want more. The nice thing uh, about a Kolsch is it's light and crisp, but has a full body. Yep. Yeah, and yeah. that's what's super special about a Kolsch. Yep. We made a Kolsch yeah. once. Yeah, well, twice, once, whatever. Two times. Uh, uh, actually, it was, it was yeah. homebrew yeah. days, and uh, it, it was well received by many, yeah. and a few had some. <laughs> 
constructed criticism, which is fine. Well, we're, we're all about that. But most people <laughs> in the area have haven't had one or yeah. a good one. So sure. it, there's people that have them and go. What the heck? Well, tell yeah, me right. who locally has made even one. Yeah. Well, uh, other well, than we were talking about Adrian. Adrian. You know? Oh, well, yeah. yeah. And his was. I was at P. It was so good. Like, it was solid. Yeah. Yeah. His, <laughs> his was great. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Now, it wasn't just because it was called the HK Code. No. no Adrian no, no. was actually Adrian, really Adrian, good. It was worth the name, my friend. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, so uh, getting back to Grayview. Mm-hmm. Um, so. You guys met, started making beer. Yeah. Um, you guys met. Oh, uh, I, mean, I forget his name. So uh, ben sorry. Comos? No, oh, uh, no. Oh. Uh, we just talked about him. Oh, Joseph. Time. Joseph. Yeah, yeah Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. yeah. So he's like, and hey, so, be yeah. part of my incubator. And then we. Just... And so that happened, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. And so let's t- t- tell people um, about that. What 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 is the incubator? <clears throat> Who's there? And what yeah. was on? So. Basically, an incubator, and the reason why Joseph invited us to be part of the incubator is because he was trying to open a tap room there at 411 Broadway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember. But because of all of the ADA compliance and fire right, sprinklers, sprinklers, sprinklers and things, yeah, right, it was right. just cost inhibitive. So, having worked up in Oregon, they have a lot of that incubator philosophy up mm-hmm. there, and yeah. even in Petaluma mm-hmm. with Hen House and uh, Petaluma mm-hmm. Hills. Which yeah. did you know that Petaluma Hills went out? Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, it's totally yeah. Sad. Now, well, Hen House is killing it. Yeah, uh, isn't Hen House in the old Petaluma Hills? No, building? they they moved out of that right across from Lagunitas, and now they have their own production facility in Santa oh. Rosa. Yeah. No, no, no. Old old school. No, no. Um, are we talking about Hen House or Petaluma Hills? Hen, 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 Hen House. No, Hen House has. Uh, a place in Petaluma. Yeah. They probably have, well, they, they, have the tap, the, they may have the tap room still. Yeah. No, no. Which Petaluma Hills is out of business. No, no, yeah, okay, but they, but I think if if I remember correctly, one's well, probably right on this one. Uh, probably. Hidden <laughs> House is now in the old Petaluma um, Hills building. They have it's called. They call it the Barrel. The the Barrel House. No, they call it. Oh, I forgot what it's called. Anyway, yeah, yeah, they're in there now in in, in Petaluma. Yeah, um, yeah, I was just there not too long uh, in February. So they have two facilities. They there. have the Santa Rosa yeah. and yep, they yep, have yep, yep, um, yep. So the Barrel Palace. There you go. The Barrel. They, they call it the Barrel Palace. Anyway, nice. Forget Hidden House. We're talking about you guys. Yeah, yeah but it, it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hidden House. Yeah. So like we love you. Yeah. <laughs> But um, even if Jay doesn't remember like which building, no, no, no. The last <laughs> no, place I new. went to is Santa Rosa. No, it's yeah, new. That's, yeah. that's the last time it was Santa Rosa. It's yes. new. It's like a year old. Yeah. Okay, somebody. Okay. Well, so COVID got us all twisted. Bam, two yeah. locations. It's not that old. Yeah, Bam. Okay. Yeah. But so um, Joseph starts this incubator. We're the first invitation. Yeah. Then uh, Mike Samaya and Cinerati with his wife Natalie, and um, the three of us are in there. Eric De La Rosa at the time was an invitation, but he yeah. uh, had issues with his partner. We ended up buying his equipment, so yeah. here we are with three tanks yeah. of uh, three brewers and, and an incubator. Basically, you, you, through the host's ABC license, mm-hmm. the incubators can piggyback onto that license. Yeah, and we're then tenant brewers. Yeah, we're tenant right. brewers under the main ABC license, so we have mm-hmm. to have our own fermenter. We have to have our own cool. uh, cold room, yeah. but we share the brew house. And yeah. so as far as someone starting out like us, the cost is shared. And yeah. so it's just super amazing because here we are, we have our day jobs. Mike Smyre has his day yeah. job. Joseph yeah. has his day job. So we can have our day jobs and then brew mm-hmm. with a fraction or yeah. a third or a fourth of the cost and get out into the market professionally. Nice. Yeah, and, and what's fun about that is you you have some people that come in with uh, experience on obviously bigger brew houses and stuff. So this is like super tank walk for them, and then we come in there and, and we have some like fancy equipment and all uh, as home brewers. But uh, yeah. we're we're all like deer in the headlights, and just is like, oh, well, this is how we do that. And Mike's like, hey, make sure you clean it like that. And uh, so you know you pick up on on. I mean, you're, you're, you're learning from each other. Oh, you, my yeah, there's a symbiotic sponges. thing. And with the right mix of folks, that works really great. Because now you have, like, people who are stoked about where you're coming out with. Or you can go, 
hey, this nose doesn't smell perfect to me. I want your opinion as, a, as a, another uh, roommate and person who wants to like brew alongside of me and release on the same day or whatever. You know, what do you think about this? Is this is this our quality getting out the door? And uh, so we we get a little extra layer of, of not only uh, learning and collaborative things, uh, but just getting that second layer of like is quality this, control. Is this yeah? Hey, QA QC, is this, is this right? worth yeah, it? Yeah, you know, what do you think? This, yeah, yeah Ooh, let's we know what we longer. like, and uh, is the public going to accept this, or is this too much, or or am I going over the top here because I love it, but they might not? Right, I don't right, know. Right, so right. Yeah, uh, I mean, been great. Yeah. I mean, solid. you know, it's the whole thing of, uh, who was it? Uh, I want to say Libertine. Uh, yeah. their, their model was, you know, we make what, what we like. Yeah. We don't care if anyone else likes it. Sure. We're yeah. going to make it. Sure. You know? Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, but you guys have other brewers there to go, hey. Yeah. Uh, Troubleshoot. Maybe, yeah, maybe ideas. dry hop that yeah. a little bit more. Get exactly. more more, more yeah. nose. Let it sit a little bit longer. Yeah. Scrub it you know, a little bit longer or whatever. Or your, your water chemistry needs a little help or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the I background. don't know about yeah. you guys, but like I smell everything that I drink. You know, um, I feel for me, it helps my palate. Mm-hmm. Smelling it and tasting it, it helps my palate. And I've had a lot of beer that Hurts. You, you while well, you drink it, <laughs> I mean, well, well, hurts while you, my nose, you, you smell it, yeah, and it's either smells horrible or it doesn't has no smell, but it tastes good. Yes, but the, but you're missing something from it, right? You know, right? And so so when you get that good balance, right. yes, keep going. When you get that yeah, good, yeah, yeah. But when, when you when you get that balance of nose and mouthfeel and taste and flavor and the backbone everything from it. Then you get the experience, right? When you don't have that experience, you you, you kind of miss something. You you lose something. So yeah. so it's good you guys have other brewers there that have their own style and and could help out. You guys could help each other out. Yeah. Right? Well, it's it's, it's collaboration. Oh, it's we'll that out. because we all want what's best for the craft beer world. So what you have in hand there is our uh, 2019 Graf. It was barrel aged in a Chenin Blanc barrel from uh, Laura, who is um, Roger's sister from Pineapple. Pineapple. Palm. Palm. Yeah, Laura has. Oh. Uh, thank you. She owns. Uh, thank you for drinking. Is her her winery's name? It's very yeah. small, very artisanal, very much the same as what we're all about. Yeah. Uh, she graduated from the. Fresno State Wine Program has an engineering degree in the background of that even, so she's just really a phenomenal kind of mind and oh, person. Oh, this? Oh, yeah, this yeah, is, yeah, this is, yeah. this is, this is, so, so, so yeah. Chenin Blanc barrel for uh, a year, yeah. and it is a Graf, which is a style of beer that is a fruited beer, uh, at a minimum, 49% um, <laughs> juice and 51% beer fermentables. Yeah. And what we did Operating, was... Operating, yeah, right? Oh. Come okay, on, let's, lying grains. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's, let's explain that um, a little bit more. Because the other day, uh, I don't know if you guys seen it, probably not. But uh, we talked about this at Spoke. Yeah. Um, and we were, we tried, we, we tried to talk about it. And then I believe Mike says, no, Jacob says, what's a graph? And he looked at me because he expected me to know... <laughs> Because he knows I've been here often and I've had it before. He says, so what's a graph? And I was like, what's a graph, Mike? And he looked, and we all just looked at each other and we were like, yes. Oh. Well, the bottom line anyway, is, so it's, 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 this, a, it's a cider beer. It's, it's, a, a cider it's, a, it's beer. basically, uh, so much like, like sours and stuff, a lot of them are fruited with up to 49% uh, fruits. This is a beer. Yeah. Uh, the the apple juice cheers cheers, cheers. cheers. apple juice and the beer are fermented at the same time with look at that it. color and look at the mix. variation right yeah, there right so we carbonated this to be like champagne as a celebratory beer yeah it is made with apple juice and beer fermentables mm-hmm. it is aged in a wine barrel and I just smell the nose it compared to the Graf non barrel aged. This has a dryness. Mm-hmm. Um, it, the oak and the, the barrel dried it out. Chenin Blanc? A yeah. Chenin Blanc, Blanc barrel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. So this this is... Uh, 
For us, it's a game changer. It's, it's, it's there in yeah, the back. Right. right. It's uh, there. The well, Chenin Blanc is... You get that oh. oak and that like dragon yeah. in the Chenin Blanc. And yeah, I don't right. know if your camera's picking up on this, but it has an opalescence. They're, they're, yep, and our original sour, which we talked about with pear and pomegranate, when it was aged in a wine barrel, it had that same opalescence, but add a blush character to it. But this has that almost... Yeah. It's oyster shell. It's it's yeah, just it's yeah. It's beautiful. It's so um, yeah, right. I had this. I don't know how long ago. Oh, it's, it's a while ago. It's, it's been it's been at least it's it's a year. It's a year probably a year. year. Uh, right? Yeah. It was when we started carbonating it. Gosh, I don't know if that was a year ago. No, because this is a year old. Yeah. We actually took it out of the barrel at a year. Yeah. And then carbonated it, and you were here, and we tasted it out of it as. It, oh, so I mean, that was, yeah. that was so about you, four months ago. Oh, but maybe I didn't no, have this before. I, I want to say I, you did. I had this. You, you had, had the, brewery. the original. You had it at the, the brewery. original. The original okay. non-barrel aged last year. Yeah, time. the original okay. here, and then you had yes. uh, at the brewery under one of our releases this because we had it egged already. Yeah, and it yeah. was yeah, it was because I, I know it's like I know I had I had and then when I came in the second yeah. that that. The four or five months ago, yes. um, you guys had me taste it because I was, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I have. I, I, I've been waiting from the first time, which yeah. that was probably about a year ago or so. Yeah. 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 Um, and I came in a few months ago and had it, and I've actually been waiting for this to come out. Um, we we'll coming out with it. You know, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. And I, I, I even, uh, we'll talk about this in a minute, right? Yeah. Uh, this other mm. one, uh, the salty goat. I've been saying, when are you gonna put that out? When are you gonna put that out? But just like this one, um, um, I've been waiting for this to come out. Uh, a lot of you, uh, man, I, I, I don't, I don't want to sound, I don't know. Um, most people won't understand it. Sure, as um, beer they won't because yeah. it's it's oh, very yeah. uh, um, very different for a beer, but it yeah. is beer. 100%. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. for sure. Yeah. It's um, even hot. It's got this guy. Yeah. It's hot, but it's. Oh, I, yeah. I don't know if people will understand. It. Yeah. Make sure to try. It. Um, yeah. If you get a chance, try it. Um, um, it's different. It's it's definitely something that um, you're not gonna get around here. Anyway, yeah, no. um, yeah, right. it's different. Um, like I said, I've been waiting for it to come out. Uh, when I seen the post, uh, I <laughs> I didn't comment. I text. <laughs> yeah, you know. CB one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I I made sure because uh, I've been waiting for. I've been telling my wife, my wife. I've been telling my wife about it um, for a while, <laughs> and uh, um, yeah, no, uh, we de- definitely. If you get a chance. Uh, don't let this one uh, fool you, or uh, kind of, or don't let it. Don't think it's not for me. Mm-hmm. Try it. Um, I personally think it's fantastic, but again, uh, I love old world beers. I love saisons. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it it's it. I know it was a uh, uh, wine barrel, mm-hmm. but it's not sour. Correct. Oh, no, you know, not it's, it's not no. a sour. Um, it's definitely something that, um, I mean, I don't want to pigeonhole it, but if you love wine, it's something that you could definitely get into. Yeah. Um, but even if you don't love wine, it, it it's something you can get into. Like I'm just saying, if you love wine, you're going to see what it, what it is. Um, so that's the graph. So this is what we just opened up and, and, uh, and poured. Let's talk about what we've been drinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. Speaking we'll, of, we'll pop a new bottle so we can down these. <laughs> um, so the, the, we came, we had three different barrels, and each barrel under the you know the barrel age program that we we have is going to present a unique flavor. And instead of like um, blending them all to make one uh, you know one varietal. Uh, every bottle release is going to have its own little tag, and on it, it's going to tell you what keg it's from, what barrel it's from. And so, uh, every barrel has a little uniqueness. They're all very similar, I should say, but they're all unique. So, Bottled by Jared Long. That's right. That Jared. is right. One and of what, the uh, best looking dudes on earth. And we I will agree. say, um, yeah. what we have here in the uh, Grenadier Gardens pub is a, a nitro version of... Yeah. 
Barrel number three. Go. No. Keg four. Keg and four, no. uh, we put it on a nitro, and I will tell you. I like it. <laughs> I like it. So, I like it too. So this one been on nitro. Yeah. Oh, this is nitro. Yeah, yeah. totally. We put it on okay. nitro tap, but this is not nitro. Sorry, I pulled the label off. This is off, this is uh, old school original. This is what everybody gets. Right yeah, here. but right. to those that know us and are the few and uh, privileged, you will not get nitro this year. But uh, yeah. eventually, we are hoping to sell kegs to to a lot of breweries and or not breweries, but uh, bars. Uh, with nitro, uh, this year didn't kind of present itself as such, but uh, you know, so let's, what we got. let's tell everybody what this is. Mm. Oh, my so, this is an imperial oyster shell stout that we uh, were able to have the privilege to uh, age in Sonoma County bourbon barrels. Mm-hmm. For a year, we had a hot barrels too, like hot, fresh, fresh. fresh. First Four time days emptied, yeah. Yeah. Right. And so we were able to uh, get a 30 gallon barrel and two 15s. Yeah. And so all American oak. Right. But the two 15s, um, which are barrel one and two, had cherry wood oak chips in there. And Inside so, the uh, bourbon, and, uh, yeah. American oak, all of them American oak, but uh, cherry, cherry oak on the barrel one. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and so, well, it was actually, yes, 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 yes. So, right. so this was barrel one, keg two, two yeah. and actually Juan gets the uh, first picking yeah. of yeah. each yeah. barrel. Yeah. We have barrel one, keg one. We have right. barrel two, keg one. He gets to tell us what the difference barrel is. Yeah, one. and so yeah. that is what's beautiful about having labeled every single bottle on this Mm -hmm. so we are giving the call it the tithe to one um barrel one barrel two barrel three yeah so to see see what the distinguishing moments are for for him for for others who might share with because we know juan is a uh share kind of person yeah. so this is how we we get along is because we all share share um but uh yeah like these these three go out and uh we want to know what the difference is and uh i mean we we have our own idea of the difference because we made it and we're but we're subjective palettes and all that nonsense but so um yeah so this one is this number one has a cherry oak within it. This one is uh, barrel uh, two. Two, I think it was keg, keg two. F- keg two. So, so this it will be have ready. some American yep. oak, vanilla, but then it had the uh, cherry wood oak chips in it. Yeah. Oh wait, that's barrel one. Sorry. Okay. So did yeah. did, did we already yeah. explain what it was? Oh, this. Oh, oh gosh. Oyster shell. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. My bad. <laughs> well, I mean, so <laughs> if anybody knows what an oyster stout is, uh, there, there's a long history of, of that. East Coast and again, prevalence. Just, just, we should be warming this. To be yeah, we, should, we should. We should. Just cup it in your hand, everyone right now, right? Cup it. Cup it. Cup it. So what an oyster stout is, is uh, it can go one in two directions. You can do it with the meat or without the meat. The ones with the meat have protein in it and add for head retention and stuff. That's East Coast. That's 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 what they do. West Coast, you know, on our, our side, we want the... Calcium minerals and and salinity is what we're doing. We're playing with water chemistry at that point with uh, with what the um, shells are giving. So we add shells into our boil kettle. Still too cold. Sorry, Juan. Still right too cold. into our into our boil kettle, and oh. those elements <laughs> kind of come out. There's a little salty nose, not crazy. It doesn't smell like fish. Uh, nope. it's, it's more like yeah. ocean air. I would say. I think the uh, biggest I, I think, issue. Like, gives you a little yeah. remnant of ocean air. The biggest the issue. Time, the gonna, biggest issue, I think, yeah, with when people like hear oyster shell stout, they go, oh, put. it's going to be fishy. Yeah, no. Oh, gosh, it's horrible. How can no. you even call a beer like an oyster shell stout? I, no. I'm oyster shell intolerant or whatever, but it's not about um, the meat. It's not about seafood. It's not about yeah, seafood. Right, yeah, right. And so. Actually, I think we talked about this earlier in the in the blog or 
Pog? Blog? Pog? I don't it's even a, know. I don't even know what it's called. Yeah. Beer, no, vlog. beer blog? V, v, it's a blog. V, video blog. 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 Um, <laughs> you know, actually, to be perfectly honest, as a brewer, I thought that the oyster shells were to complement the chemistry of the water to make it softer yeah. and this and that. And that's right. why they did it. But as I did more research mm -hmm. on oyster shell stout, it was about more of the posterity of the beer and the uh, rarity and the of, original kind of like uh, mapping and everything. Yeah, right. It was about like, hey, you know, we're going to make a beer that has oysters in it, which otherwise are like only the rich people can uh, afford. Right, right. And it's not about chemistry. You no, know, what's, what's yeah. crazy is, don't know if I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong, but oysters... Mm. And is like um, lobsters. Yeah. Were aphrodisiacs. Well, well, they were <laughs> that too. They <laughs> were too. they were they were fishermen's food. They were poor they, people's. They were poor they, people's food. They were. They were. In until they became rare. And until yeah. they became rare, and yeah. people were like, like the, the higher heck? up people yeah. were like, oh, these actually taste good. We want some. Yeah. 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 All of a sudden. Lobsters, shrimp, and oysters. Oysters. It's all the rage. Were, yeah, right. were, were, were now desired by the rich folk. Because yeah. it was desired by rich people. And when they, they, they start off as a fisherman's or fisherman's mm -hmm. family's food, yeah. because yeah. it's what they were left with. Uh, yeah. Bon so we're taking are. we're taking 1820s, like, yeah, those, this, uh, hazy, hazy IPA and incorporate <laughs> this. So. <laughs> Mur ah. or murky or uh, uh, pulpy, wh wh whatever variety. Oh the, the stuff we we all enjoy too. Not not pooping on again. It. Uh, just again, uh, uh, again. Like we we like all those styles, but the, like the, the oyster shells are the remnants of what we go and we we have a group party up there. We eat and then these little leftovers. We we clean them. We boil them into. So this is kind of like yeah. remember. Um, uh, Brew dogs. Yeah, yeah, brew dogs. So, oh wait, so yeah. Scotland. So, so, well, no. Yeah. Um, remember they had a show. Yeah. Where, where they would go and brew with different people. They would. Uh, they do a, a homebrew batch and then, like would yeah. launch it. Yeah. And then and they did stuff up and down the Willamette River so and all so, that stuff. So, yeah, so, right. so basically, it's like the episode when they went to uh, uh, Jim Koch and Sam Adams. Yes. Yeah. And, uh. and they did a brew with him, and they wanted like the um, they the, they wanted to start the cultures in in the beer, so they they got in the water. Oh. <laughs> and so so I, don't, I, don't, I don't, will never like put so a they, body in the water. So they got in the water. <laughs> oh my god. They, they they got yeah, in the so water and and so to to get to get the you know to get all their. Uh, <laughs> To get it going, so basically what you're having is the Jays DNA. That's crazy. Because you had because you because you had it is, it is you, our DNA. On the, well, well, yes. if you were gonna say our DNA and our saliva per se, but no one, we ate all the oysters first. All the meat then we for scrub, the most part. We clean the shells first. <laughs> but no, we got it in. No, we didn't. <laughs> Come on, we, we, we clean them I all. Mean, I mean, they were boiled. They were. They're gonna they be were, boiled. They are. They're boiled. boiled. But I will tell you, I went to to Hen right? House. I went to Hen House, bro. <laughs> And I said, hey. There might be some Tabasco sauce in some of those shells. I'm just saying. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. That but might I, not have, like, too much fun. Yeah. went right. with my family to Hen House. And I was like, hey, tell me about your oyster shell stout. Because yeah. I didn't tell them I was a brewer. But I was like, how many oyster shells do you use in your oyster shell stout? Yeah. And the server at that time was like, oh. And I won't throw anyone under the bus. But it was just, like, a very... Minimal. Nominal amount, yeah, minimal. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I will tell you that we because we are small, a lot. it is a it very large proportion. Forty pounds in a barrel is what we did on. Uh, oh, yeah. and and yeah. I think it was sixty to eighty pounds in uh, what we're doing now yeah, at the brewery. Right, right. But the point is, it's not about the meat; it's about the oyster shells. And yeah, shells. 
historically, and he and I both were like, oh, the oyster shells were for the chemistry of the water and to make it health. this and that. Health, yes. It absolutely does help. It does help. But it, it was not for the chemistry that they added the oyster shells back in the day. Okay. It was, like you said, it's a... It's a, a uh, it's a yeah, right. it, well, we're in a marina town, and what do we yeah. eat? We eat oyster shells, we eat clams, and blah, yeah. blah, blah. And yes. what is the main beer in a port town? It's porter. Porter, yeah, right. And yep. so right. then, so. oh, hey, a stout comes along, right. and they're like, oh, that's the new greatest uh, beer. Oh, and oysters and clams are of yeah. uh, high demand because we've fished them out. Yeah. Let's make this beer a posterity thing. Which means that someday we'll have a... When Ab season opens up. We'll make an abalone beer too, because uh, but we and we've got like yes. we've done the abalone like things of the year past years, but that'll be a future things. But like abalones are not available, and so we therefore yeah. will not but, make abalone beers. Yeah. But right. the irony back in the day, they thought it was like a culture clash thing of like, though this is an esoterically only rich people can afford a now called a stout with yeah. now. Oysters who imperial are, also a, uh, a posterity thing. Yeah, yeah, more it's strong. For the it has a, yeah, right. a shell that is like, so, oh, can you afford <laughs> it? But boom. Yeah. So yeah, right, right. again. Right. So real quick, <laughs> that was too much information. <laughs> that, that was a lot I of know. information. No, so Sorry. real quick, okay. like so, so there's 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 this people and there's these people and then okay, so this and that. So so is there so is oh man. To uh, bring it all home? <laughs> I, I don't know how many times I've had this argument. Not really argument, ah. discussion with people who had spoken. Is there really a thing as a stout or is it just a porter? They're the same. Oh. They're the same. It's it's Okay. Let's just let's just cut cut the crap. They're all the same. Now, new stouts, new porters, difference because now the world understands them as smokier than not or whatever. For but most people, for for most people that had, they're, they're, the they're not the nerds, they're not nerds, no. and they won't like look into the history. Yeah, a stout is a porter. A, a stout started as a porter. Of course, it did. Right? Porter came first before and stout. Then, yes. Exactly, and then yes. it just evolved. And then uh, I think what ended up happening is yeah. is it just got. Annoying, I guess, to say yeah. uh, to, to say porter stout. That's right, because it was porter stout for. So they just started Iron saying Tiger. stout. Yes. Stout. Yes. And uh, just like yeah. IPA, Dipa, Pale, yeah. it just like <sighs> modern world. Modern world, though, it's the interpretation of porters are smokier than stouts, Absolutely. and that's that's kind of like drier, the, the modern, drier, less, yeah. Right, yeah right, but so. it was just that. It, it's just that. Um, it was it's it, it's an IPA versus was, a dipper, right. which is what a stout and you're absolutely a right. porter is. Yes, Port, stout and porters were. But it's the same thing. Same thing. They are the same class until it got so a popular porter, right? that they had to make it different. History, <laughs> history. <laughs> history. <laughs> but but then again, I would say a porter and a stout. Okay, within the same class of that darkness of the malts and characteristics, <laughs> although. A porter is the progenitor to a stout. Yeah. But a dipa <laughs> and a, an IPA, that's a double IPA. An IPA is an IPA. Yeah. Dipa is a double. Tipa, a triple. But they're all but they're all But, but they're, they're all, all the same class. And I, I get that. I have I have I have an argument with Tipa's but we'll get into that some other <laughs> So nice. anyway. Was it nine percent and above for you for Tipa? No, no. Here's the thing: is 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 okay. I guess we'll get into it now. Dang Whoa! It. <laughs> Boom! There is no such thing as a tipper or an imperial. So, there is no, there, no, no, no. You're, you're they're, no, all no, no. They're, they're all doubles. They're all doubles. <laughs> they're all doubles. You're, I'm, I'm game with that. They're all doubles. And there is. It's all marketing after that. Okay, uh, so uh, imperial, to, like, like, so. for instance, like, 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 twelve years ago, it was like, for me personally, I was like. A tipper, uh, okay, yeah, then, and then uh, it was like a tipper. Tipa. What? Then it was like an imperial. That's got to be fucking seventeen yeah. <laughs> percent. 
Right. Yes. No. So so and look at so, uh, so so it's just it's it's and then and then like five years ago I forgot <gasps> who I was talking to I, I had to been in Santa Rosa somewhere yeah and they blew my mind they were like no dude it's, it's all same, marketing same, same it's marketing. hello anything anything over eight percent is a double IPA it doesn't matter if it's twenty percent sure. it's, it's a dipa it's a dipa so the, and then, so here, here's the kicker. It's a barley. It's a barley IPA yeah. if it's so, higher than yeah. like ten, right? Yeah. Here's here's the kicker. Like wine for IPA. instance, yeah. uh, Hen House when they release Big Chicken, yeah, it's a dipper. When uh, and they release it the same day yeah. or the same t- around the same time as Russian River releases yeah. Younger. Yeah, right. Younger's is a is a is a triple. Yeah, right. Younger is usually about 102 10.2 percent. Yeah. A lot of times, Hen House would be at about 10.4, 10.5, and they still call it a dipper. Yeah. So it, it it brings you back to it's 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 just a marketing thing. The best is is uh, Dogfish Head. They do 60, 90, yes, 120, yes. right? So what? And, 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 and for people who don't know, like it's a boil time. Concentration of sugars yield more um, alcohol volume, kind of scenario, and so they're they're really they're really good at it. 120 as an IPA, honestly, like my friends and I, we for the the moment we taste that it, shit holds up. By the way, it does. It does. 120 we, holds up. We consider it like a barley wine. Yeah, because it's totally. so big and so yep. shelf stable and longevity. Uh, it doesn't taste a, a remnant of an IPA. You know, Kevin. Uh, yeah, I forget his last name. It's Kevin. Really good though. So Kevin has a great story about that. Yeah. If you get a chance to. Uh, Kevin Cox. No, Kevin. Ah. Anyway. Kevin. Eh. What's up, Kevin? Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll tag him in the deal, but he has a good story about it. <laughs> anyway, so back to this oyster stout. Yeah. Oh, what the man? Heck, right? Please, please, yeah. please do not let. Do not let. The name kill you. Uh, kill oh, you. We're good. Right. We we You're got good. we yeah. got like two hundred. Two please, hundred. Please do not. Something. Yeah. That. That's it. Please do not let Ever. oyster yeah, right. de- yeah. deter you from it. Um, I've had oyster stouts sure. that I didn't like, and it led me to. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of oyster stouts. Sure. Then I had the Hen House one, which was like amazing. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's 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 our barometer. We I'll love. be honest. Hen House. Yeah. Right. This no like. Um, no knocks on it in the hen house at all. Mm-hmm. This is anything above that you would think an oyster stout or a stout in in general. Like this is what we were drinking all night, right? Yeah. Um, um I I honestly uh, when uh, when when you first poured it, I think we had just started rolling. I looked down to it, and I saw the um, uh, 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 the, the the Firestone Walker. Oh yeah, yeah, all right. I saw the Firestone uh. Walker thing, and I was like, in my head, I'm like, are, are they giving me Sticky Monkey? <laughs> is that what we're drinking? Do they have oh, a cake of Sticky man. Monkey in the back? Sticky is so good. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, right. yeah, it is. It is. It. I don't care who you are. Yeah. Um, you may hate Sticky Monkey. But you you don't hate it because it's a bad beer. You hate it for another reason. Maybe yeah. maybe you took a yeah. bottle to the dome and didn't realize what you were drinking, right. and then all of a sudden you hate it. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it's not a bad beer. It's a fantastic beer, it and is, this reminds is. me of it. Uh, but it's funny. It has this like very like sticky sweetness in the back. Mm. It kind of reminds me of like molasses. Yes, mm. there we are. The dark brown sugars. Yeah, the it's the yeah. barrel agedness of it. But that's and what's think... crazy is we didn't like add any of those weird adjuncts. So <clears> this <throat> is a our stout, imperialized, meaning we got a bigger grain bill and stuff. Uh, Dude, um, that's it. That's it. And I'm, shells. I don't mean that's to it. cut you off, but like, no, it's weird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> weird. It's weird. weird. I love it. You, <laughs> There, you call my beer weird. There is an oyster 
There is. It's a salinity. Yeah. It's a. There's I a mean, nose it's, there. it's an okay. ocean note that honestly don't 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 not fishy. Don't not get right? fishy. Off by yeah, it. yeah, it's yeah, not, not fishy not at fishy. all. But there is if 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 Thank you've you. ever had oysters, it there's this like dryness in the back. Um, but that's all it is. It's yeah. nothing bad. It's nothing. It's nothing fishy. You're not gonna have fucking fish in the beer. It's not like no, that at no, all. No. Um, Man, it's the way I describe it's a fa- it. Okay, complex. Let's call it complex. Look at it this way. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> it's complex. It's, complex. It's, it's a fantastic stout. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's basically That's it. it. Right. The, it's just the, there's oysters in it, and it's oyster stout. But it's a fantastic stout. If, if people have never had an oyster or in their life, whatever. I, yeah, yeah, if people have never had a stout or porter or imperial anything in their life. They wouldn't pick up, obviously, an oyster because they've never had oysters or, or either. The, or the, uh, uh, it's not fishy. It's not fishy. Because you yeah, yeah, oysters. You would never, like, some I mean, people are going to say this is a barrel-aged sour porter. There's, uh, there's, that's it. There's a roastiness. There's this chocolate kind of like, uh, not in a bad way, but there's like a burnt chocolate mm-hmm. in the okay. back. Yeah. Um, not in a bad way. It's just mm-hmm. like the smell of it, mm-hmm. but it's mm-hmm. a taste. Um, roastiness. There's no sea. If anything, like maybe like a sea salty kind of like. There you are. Um, to me, I yeah. I taste this, and I am at the ocean. Yeah. The, okay, the, right. the sea salty in the air. At, yeah. at, That's what I'm you're, saying. When you're like, when, if yeah. you sit at the ocean long enough, yeah. it, especially, it, you know what's crazy? Especially like in the morning or late night. Mm-hmm. Have you ever like done a bonfire yeah. on the beach? Uh, on the beach, late night or early morning. Um, While drinking a there, macchiato. Yeah, there's, yeah, right. <laughs> there's, there's this smell to it yeah. where it's like a roastiness, kind of sea salty kind of thing going on. That's what this is going yeah. on. It, it definitely takes you back. Um, not gonna tell the story, but there's plenty of times I woke up on the beach naked, uh, pretty much <laughs> by myself. Wow, naked by yourself. Wow. And um, and um, I remember waking up and it's just like cold, but there's this smell to mm-hmm. the air. I was in the pool, by the way. That that this is yeah. what this reminds me of. Okay, uh, but it's, but yeah. there's no fish. There's no no there's, there's no, no fish. There's no. There's no but yeah, what, my point is, that. it's it's the salinity. It's it's I smell ocean in a glass. Coupled with all the other components of the complexity yeah, of right. this beer. There's coffee, there's salt, there's chocolate. So when someone there, says yeah, oh right. oyster Okay, so is there coffee in this? No. No, but no. there's coffee no there's Oh my goodness, and there's insane. chocolate. That's the roastiness of the the, the 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 grains we select, right? I'm sorry, like we're we're getting excited. We're getting geeky. <laughs> yeah. It's I mean we had a like uh, a couple of things. Totally so, getting excited right. um, because it, it's it's probably one of the better barrel-aged stouts coming out of this area. Uh, Thanks. Thank you. We appreciate that. No joke. So we put it's a, big a deal for lot us. of effort yeah. into this. No, but, I know. Um, it made I, a it's, lot, it's made a lot of years uh, before that got to here. I've yeah. had a chance to taste it along the way. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you have. I've been waiting for it, and uh, um, <laughs> and this is just when you say sticky monkey. And again, There's, I am uh, a Firestone Walker fan. I fan. am yeah. their beer geek, two chime champion, blah yeah. blah blah. But when yeah. you say sticky monkey, I taste this, and I'm like, yeah. sticky. Yep. Fucking monkey. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, yep. I just swore, but I mean, yep. I I, I get what you're saying. What the heck? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I get it. So don't 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 be don't let the name or don't let what's in it discourage you from trying it. Unless it, you got a shellfish allergy, then oh, like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, steer yeah. way away, yeah. like like way over there. If, yeah, right. if, if you're legit clam if yeah, you have right, oyster yeah. not good. You, Sorry, not if good. If you if you have any yeah. Firestone Walker mm-hmm. yeah. Or any barrel age, whatever in in your cellar, and you and you don't come out to get this, you're doing something wrong. Um, uh, we're knock gonna, it. We're gonna we're gonna add like extra extra little like uh, things in there just just because. And and the reason for our very generic label 
is because we want some home takeaways. So, you know, you look at this this little coin. Eh, it's paper. It's whatever. Uh, we reuse a collar from our keg collar like uh, uh, things. We we write on the back of it uh, exactly what barrel and handwritten. keg. Handwritten. Handwritten. This this takes time. You know, handwritten, like every description about like, hey, I got bottle number or whatever. This is this is that beer. Actually, uh, this is a barrel three, keg one, yeah. bottle one of thirty seven. So yeah. what we did is like this amazing man who is yeah. determining to <laughs> interview us. Yeah. He's getting the first pickings of, of every every beer. right beer, every single one right every barrel. Keg one, yeah. two, three, whatever. Barrel one, barrel two, barrel three. Yeah. Bottle one, one, one. This man yeah. gets to taste. Yeah. It's, we we put our pride in things like this. Like, look, look Jay or I, this one, Jay. Oh, uh, 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 actually, utter, utter Jay. probably uh, uh, 99% of the uh, coin. product. Uh, yeah. The coin. So, the coin. Yeah, all right. Bam. So it's, a, it's a wax dip coin. Uh, we, we went like instead this, of a wax this, dip top, you did a yeah. yeah that's fantastic. That, yeah, because yeah, totally again, did. everybody's gonna chuck this in the trash. We want takeaways, right? So we want this on your Christmas tree or yep. You know what's whatever, funny is that's exactly know? what I was thinking about. I was ah, like, yeah, I'm, right? I'm gonna throw that on the Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah. yeah that every and, one is unique. And then we hire a local artist for every beer, and we, they create a sticker, not with our branding and logo all over it, with the beer name and blah, 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 blah. They create their Interpret- artistic interpretation yes. of what our beer is. So every beer comes with this little sticker of the artist who mm. who decided what that was. And, and they might hide a hidden G in there, sure. Whatever, but not much more than that. It, we want um, we want the artist artistry the artist to be um, upfront, and we thought we want their interpretation of what's in the bottle to be upfront, and then we send you home with little things like lanyards and and little like keepsakes. Uh, the bottle our assembly is recyclable. It's gonna be. It's gonna be checked. You have some fantastic right. stuff coming out of your own hometown that. Again, you might be getting a crazy looking artistic can, <laughs> but what's in it? That's cool. Yeah. yeah. That's... You got to consider the liquid. And yeah. what, what we tapped into today, um, again, with the Gravenstein Graph, uh, it's something definitely you, you're not going to get anywhere. Never. Um, never. It. Never. You are not. There's 80. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, hopefully I'll be doing more with other uh, brewers around town. And um, let's keep it local. Thank you for tuning in. H. Canna Street. See you all. Grave you. Later. Always spit the real shit. Ask my whole team. Bring your words to life. Give it like a free throw.